I don't know of any other school in the area that where you can sit in your house and watch a high school football game. Former football coach and field side resident Jake Babs has lived by Memorial Field for the past 18 years. His proximity to the Galley Academy football program has maintained his love for football. The only time I ever miss coaching football is on Friday night watching these guys. When I watch two a days out, out back here, I don't miss football coaching. Galley Academy offensive line coach Brad Harris has been a Gallo Police resident for his entire life and believes that the homes give his squad a unique home field advantage. There's nothing like home field advantage. Uh, I think our kids feed off of it. It's really nice to have that support, uh, not only in the stands, but also you know, around the surrounding edges. Uh, you just can't top it around here. It's, it's awesome. Alice Giles said that support for the program has always been strong, making it difficult to predict the number of guests whom she'll host. The people get behind the, the team, and of course the more they win, the more people we have on the porch. So if you're having a good year, I have a lot of people. Plans to build a new football stadium because of flooding are in the beginning stages. Lori Bailey admitted that new facilities will benefit the program, but that she will miss her backyard seat. I don't think it'll go away all at once, um, but when it does move, it'll be sad. It'll be sad to see this memorial field be gone. You know, our fans are great. Uh, they come and support us when we're up, when we're down, when it's raining and snow, and it doesn't matter. They come. So we're looking forward to, to moving on. And, you know, maybe even taking some of the tradition from here with us. The kids have a great school out there, so um, we'll all go, we'll all just drive out there to see it. <laughs>